when time was old, life was simple. People hunted or harvested what they wanted, and they never wanted much. Survival was the primary goal, and convenience was not cared for. But time got younger, as it moved forward. Humankind was not satisfied with what they had. Thus, they laid the stepping stone to trade, where they gave what they had for what they wanted. The barter system. Exchange and exchange of what you wanted. If you could substantiate to the value, the bid is achieved and what you want is yours. Tight cornered and stuck. When the demands are not satisfied, values not met, worth not defined, what you want and what you need are not weighed the same. That calls for a new scale, a new instrument, a new course of action to orient the system towards perfection. Humankind watched in awe as the lifeless metal would now decide the value for everything the living needs. This is the birth of money. Money marches in victoriously. Magnificent it is to not hunt anymore, to not harvest anymore. Wants are different and the needs are same. Shifting the focus from what you want. Hold him if you can. He runs and runs, flies and dives, from one hand to another. Unable to control, unable to tame, too young and wild for the time he was born into. Time was too old to understand or comprehend. So this need, the traders, the masters of buying and selling, decided for a control. Banks were built. The uncontrollable is controlled. The untamable is tamed. Now the course of money is defined. But the master is not done yet. His mastery does not just take, but also gives back. The master of trade unfolds a new system. The system of interest rates. The time now starts to get younger. The budding economy shines bright, and every passing trader casts his eye upon it. Now there is a new contender in the arena of trade with a new trick up his sleeve. The land of the monarchs of Mekentry, where the battle is real, there is a new disruption. The rise of a new banking institution, a structure unifying the course of money. No more hassle, no more chaos, knitting together a tight network where the path is clear with the destination so certain, where money is trusted, where money is true. It flows in the economy far and wide. This time a new wave kicks in. The master shakes hands with people in accord, trust inbuilt, a relationship form, that the money can now move conveniently and return to the place where it belongs. The system is innovated, a system is established, now the world shall know the system of credit. With the growing value for everything the living needs, there is a surge in the demand for the one power that could satisfy their needs. Their thirst is unending. Desire has weakened their minds to compromise truth. This allows a hole in the structure. 
Something doesn't strike right. A shadow is cast on the land of the troop. A structure with the face unrecognized. What is it? Where is all this money coming from? And why is it tainted? Everything gets blurry, unseen, unheard and unknown. Questions lingering still. The tainted structure grown tall. These are the unauthorized banks whose shadow is cast over the truth. Dirty money, unaccounted for, has infiltrated and disrupted the chain. The path has become crooked. The young economy is not so bright anymore. But a ray of light pierces in through the darkness to navigate the course back towards its destination. To defend the truth, to remove the clutter, to bring chaos to order. Now there is a governance to invisibly. The Reserve Bank of India. The economy is getting more sophisticated with interconnected systems that sync, proving that the time is getting more younger and as the fervor of valiance and thirst to endeavor gushes in. This calls for a new innovation, a new normal, a complete disruption to settle the thirst of this incredibly growing economy. The tides are reaching new heights against the steady structures of conventional practices. A massive wave of change breaks in. This is the rise of e -Rupay. There is a sudden bloom of opportunities, the aroma of which draws hope from within. Awaken are those who have fallen asleep. Awaken are those who have fallen asleep. But the peace did not last long. Chaos is chaos. Confused and disoriented, the world is distressed. There is too much money moving too fast. The eyes of the watcher move back and forth. Couldn't trace his path now. Everything feels disoriented and dizzy. He now runs, flies and dives too hard to hold. The weight of what one has and what one wants differs again. Is this a deja vu or have we gone back in time? Didn't see that coming. The union of the connected chain is now snapping. The structures now isolated and alone, suspended individually. Nobody can hold them now. Wild and free, young and strong. Here and there, hope nowhere. Order and structure lost their way Wavered now, wandering how, swore and tall, here and there, hither and thither. And stop the fall. It has fallen. Everything has crumbled down. Dust, ashes, pursuits and dreams, fervor and valiance. Thirst and endeavor is reduced to nothing. All that we built has been brought down. Drowning deep in despair and dejection ruling everywhere. Money dead. Monarch's blood. Is there a way out? The cry becomes louder and louder, echoing and reverberating. Can you hear what it says? Recession is here, it claims.
Revivers assemble, for this is the time they've been waiting for. Arise, OG20 ambassadors, Deuces CEO, Electi entrepreneurs, Mercatura, Finesse Technica, Lovatio Humanum, Optimus Sustenedi, The Logs Excogitatoris, Exocitus Cado, Sublatio Publicis, Cognitio Ingenarius. This is the rise of new paradigm. This is the time for revival, the one we've been waiting for. Choose to challenge the unknown and the uncertain. You'll transfigure the world gloriously. It's your turn now. Rise up from the ashes. Stand your ground. Look forward. The world is waiting for you now. Synectics Revocate You 2023 is here. Revive and bring back all that is lost. For the world is yours to take.